It's very exciting being in the Serengeti and uh, I mean it's very amazing. You're, you're, you're not sure what you're going to see out there whenever you go for a game drive or you go for a walking safari. My feeling is that we need to protect these resources. We need to have it for future generations so that they come to enjoy in a very intact way that we just experienced. The Lodge is highly committed to ensure that it protects the environment so that the Serengeti is stayed protected but also the resource are well respected so that the Serengeti can still be protected for many generations to come. With the sustainable practice at the Four Seasons, uh, recently we've just won the award on uh, resource efficiency on uh, water resource. We have a sewage treatment plant, so all the wastewater that we generate does not go to the environment, but rather we recycle the water. How, it, how does it work? We collect all the wastewater, the grey water, and send it down to one point where the sewage treatment plant is. The sewage treatment plant will separate the grease from the grey water. And then afterwards, the separated water will be refined again, all the solid particle being removed, and then we add some chemicals. That process is complete. All the water is being pumped back to the lodge, and we have a big uh, storage tank to be used for the gardens, to be used for cleaning the vehicles as a reserve water for firefighting. The water that comes from a steepy, the ones which is recycled, yeah, we use it for water flowers, like now it's dry season. It's, it's okay, it's treated very well. We use chlorine in, in treating the water. The process of the water is well maintained because even our animals drink, that's really safe water. But also we do have the uh, reverse osmosis plant to purify our drinking water. The water is very, very, very important. And the, in the lodge also we have uh, several boreholes. We take the water from underground. So from there we, we clean, then we treat. Don't have the chemical again, so mineral again that you can destroy the animal there. Which is safe to drink so that we cut down the use of plastic, which has become a really big problem to the planet. But in the near future, we're expecting to have a water bottling plant so that we can remove all the plastic bottle usage at the load. But for the small amount of the black plastic bottles that we use, we send them to Arusha for recycling. It means that we are reducing the pressure and the impact towards the Serengeti and the surrounding villages. Uh, the Lodge also through the Discovery Center, we use all the opportunities to ensure that we educate our guests, but also our employees towards the sustainable practice. Explain to make people to understanding about the ecosystem in general, conservation area, and how all life as well living together with people. We do have different documentary shows at the Discovery Center, but recently we have started also live presentation towards the community supported project as well as conservation supported project that is being done by the Lodge. The one that uh, we've been established recently is the desnaring program. It's mainly to go out and uh, remove all the snares that has been set by the poachers. This is also conducted uh, with, uh, with the facilitation of the Frankfurt Zoological Society. Frankfurt plays the role as the conduit of, of the funds and organizing the funds. Because uh, the lodges and the hotels are all stakeholders in the park, it's difficult for them to directly donate the money to, to Tanapa in this case. The snaring program, we have a set amount every quarter to make sure that we give them a financial support so that they can, they are capable of conducting consistently. 
the patrols. These snaring units work in the field as a team removing the snares. We try and locate, we use uh, ex-poachers who we have screened, who has very good knowledge of where the snares are being put. Every week, uh, a vehicle well equipped with all the staff is given to Tanapa to operate in the field um, and to go after uh, wire snares and to remove the wire snares. And they have removed thousands uh, since they've started just over a year ago. How it works, it tightens up when the animal goes through it. And then it, it stops the animal from moving. It gets a lot of injuries and the poacher will come and uh, get the animal very weak because it has been struggling for a long time. The snares are non-selective. Sometimes you have even the untargeted species like uh, elephant, lions. Any, all of the other species is affected by these uh, snare lines. Because they are very powerful and they struggle very violently. Sometimes they have a very deep cut and injury. We need the veterinary people of the Serengeti to be to get involved. The Napa has got a veterinary team that specializes in going out interacting with any animal that has been wounded or is out there, they will interfere then because it's caused by a human action. They will catch that animal, they will remove the snare and treat the, the animal and make sure it goes back into the wild again. It's a very costly operation because they use uh, very expensive drugs. They use specialized equipment. We thought it is very important to, to, to equip the veterinary uh, team in the Serengeti. And uh, recently we managed to buy the dart gun. In uh, doing this very important job, being able to immobilize a animal and to act on something that, that has happened to that animal, like a snare around his neck. It can also be used for different other purposes in case they want to translocate the animal to diagnose the animals and uh, to treat the sick animals as well. Four Seasons has gone above the expected donations and uh, really make a difference by directly donating one vehicle. Which now makes a total of two teams that can go out in the bush. A vehicle is always the basis, the start of putting a team like that in the field. The biggest component is to get the vehicle. So two teams goes out at least twice in a month and uh, it has a very good result. If you want to calculate how many animals has been saved by taking out over 10,000 wire snares, uh, it's hundreds of animals that, that has been saved in that way uh, from a horrible death. And it shows that uh, a lot more can be done if we have more uh, patrol teams to go out. So it has a very big effect on the well-being of the ecosystem. Like everywhere else in Africa, resources to conserve bigger ecosystems is always a problem. There's never enough. And the model of the desnaring uh, system is a very important one for the future because I believe more and more we will have to rely on uh, stakeholders to make a bigger investment towards the protection of important ecosystems such as the Serengeti. We want to bring more awareness to the community and then they see the importance of, the, of protecting these wildlife resources. Because we need to keep our environment safe. Protecting Serengeti is not only for the well-being of Tanzanians, but for the well-being of the entire global community.